you're watching Lou's News, I'm Lewis Clark. The Mid Devon show may have already been in Gorn, but organisers will be celebrating its record-breaking success. 15,000 visitors made their way to this year's bumper show and the Mary Curie collected £2,500 of your generous donations. Lou's News was there with the Mid Devon Gazette. Tang Crier started proceedings on July 26th for the Mid Devon show, which promised to be the biggest and best in its 15 year history. The main ring, sponsored by the Mid Devon Gazette, featured daredevil stunts from the Rocking Horse stunt team, one of the highlights of the show. And entertainment from Jonathan Marshall Falconry, showing a selection of rare wild birds. Oh my goodness me! As well as the main ring, the music and dance pavilion showed a variety of performance acts from around the region. Once again, the wag from Widdicombe, Tony Beard, brought his special brand of fun and laughter as compare. Actually, I've been coming for several years, missed last year of course because of the atrocious weather, and to be invited back once again to compare the music and dance pavilion here at, at the Mid Dem Show is truly wonderful. It's one of the highlights of my year really, because being a farmer all my life, uh, to come to an agricultural show, and there's some good one-day agricultural shows, but the one here at Mid Devon is, is phenomenal. And there's always so many people that listen to me on BBC Radio Devon that come up and have a little chat, and, and I even had somebody come and present me with a with a glass of, of black cherry and brandy just now, 28 percent proof or something like that. Oh my goodness. So if you're going out there, you'll be drunk then. I'll be, tight, I'll be as tight as a newt come the end of the day where I keep reading that. Even though the sun shone and the heat even made some of the animals tired, in the weeks leading up to the event, organisers have been praying that they wouldn't have a repeat of last year when the show was cancelled because of the bad weather. Now, a fortnight ago, or just over a fortnight ago, when we had that really heavy rain, I was starting to get worried. I was out here every day looking at the water level and the ditches, but over the last 10 days it's got steadily better day by day. Judging of the animals took place throughout the day, and the judges were kept busy viewing the sheep, cattle and pigs, making difficult decisions on who should get the prizes. I can only please one person per class as the first prize. Everybody thinks they got the, uh, uh, the right animal, but um, when you come amongst others, um, they do stand out. And um, yeah, I enjoy it. Yeah, I get the bickering afterwards, but um, I come back. I'm thick skinned as so I come back for more. <laughs> other animals, such as horses, guinea pigs, and chickens, were hoping to impress and win first place. Spectators at the showground at Hartnell Farm found an extra 200 metre of trade stands giving an insight into Mid Devon's organisations. Crafts and traditions of the region were showcased and the garden marquee was once again bursting with colour. 55 volunteers turned up to help raise money for this year's chosen charity, the Mary Curie Cancer Care, who had a stall for people to find out more about what the charity does in the Mid Devon area. Uh, it's a Marie Curie Care uh, charity that we're support supporting, and I have lost two wives through cancer, so it's a very special charity to me. It's just fantastic. I mean, just being here today, I mean, the number of people here that can come and see us, see what we do, see what the day hospice is all about. Because the day hospice is such a closed off building, not many people know what happens inside. So it's great to be able to come down here today and just show everyone what we do here in the Mid Devon area. I won't say what time I was down here this morning or how long I was out here yesterday, but no, I mean, it's just also it's so worth it to come down here and put the tent together. Um, it's great for people to visually see, visually see what Marie Curie does. So it's just important to get the message across to everyone and have, being able to have the tent here is the best way of doing that for people to come and see it. After the disappointment of last year's show, it's safe to say that this Mid Devon show is back and at its best. 
the crowds have turned out in their thousands to celebrate the agriculture and businesses of Mid Devon. I'm Lewis Clark for the Mid Devon Gazette at the Mid Devon Show. Some people will argue that the weather may not have been as bad as last year, but there were showers. Mr Showers in fact, and he was one of the highlights of the Music and Dance Pavilion. that's happening in Mid Devon life with the Mid Devon Gazette or you can log on to their website at www.thisismiddevon.co.uk I've been Lewis Clark, thanks for watching. <laughs>